All right. Um, this is a question I get from my students a lot, which is how do you fill out a unit circle um, in a really short amount of time? Um, about five minutes is usually what the teachers at school give you if this was a quiz in school. So what we want to do is let's jump right into the question. Um, a unit circle, you want to know some basic things about it. The question is, how do you fill out all these different parts without memorizing every single value? There are a couple of tricks we can use. The first thing we want to do is just know the base, know the, the pretty obvious ones, the corners right here, right here, right here, right here. So what we want to know there is that this is always going to be one and zero because this is the x axis and this is x is one, y is zero. Well, this place is your y axis, so it's zero, one. We know this is x-axis again, but this time it's on the left side, so it's negative 1, 0, meaning it's a 1, 0, but the x is now negative. And over here, it is a 0, 1, but the y is now negative as well. So pretty much you have that filled out. Um, the next thing you want to do um, is to take care of the values here, and there's a very good trick for the values here. Uh, first of all, the first thing you want to know is that all the values here are always going to be over 2. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go over 2 for everything. And then to know that there is a trick here, and I'm going to write the trick on the, on the side here. The trick is the trick is that you have 1, 2, 3, and then you have 1, 2, 3, right? And then you, and you put that on, on top of, uh, of the 2s that we created. So what do I mean by that? So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, okay? And there's also going to be one, two, three going up. And then you want to put a square root over the numerators, the top numbers. So if I do the square root over one, it's still one. So I don't need to put a square root over it. I don't need to write at least the square roots. Then you put a square root over three, square root over three, obviously. Square root over two, square root over two, square root over two, square root over two. Square root over three is square root over three. But square root over one is just one. So I don't even need to write that. So then the thing that, that now happens is these guys just translate to the left side. But what happens is obviously on this left side of the quadrant, all the x's are negative. So it's going to be the same numbers, but just negative x's. So how does that translate? It means that when I write here, I'm really writing the same thing I have up here, which is 1 over 2, uh, root 3 over 2. But I'm going to have a negative x, OK? And over here, I'm going to have root 2 over 2 root 2 over 2, but I'm going to have a negative x. Again, I'm writing same numbers over here, but just negative x's. So here over here, I'm going to have root 3 over 2, 1 over 2, and I'm going to have a negative. And that's all. That's all you've done. We just created all that. Now, the trick to figure out what the bottom ones here are going to be is to use, to realize that if I look at this line, so I'm going to draw a circle here. If I look at the line at this point, right, this line continues all the way down. This line continues all the way down and it comes over here. So that line is the same line there, which means pretty much it will borrow the same values and you just have to think about the signs. So it's going to borrow one, 1 over 2 and root 3 over 2. Root 3 over 2, okay? It's going to borrow 1 over 2 and root 3 over 2. And the question though is that at that point, what is the value? What is the value of what, what are the signs for the x and y here? Well, we know in this quadrant, the x's are negative and the y's are also negative because it's at the bottom there. So the same thing is going to apply. Let me change my color here. I know that this middle one here is root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. It translates, if you follow that line all the way here, it translates over here. Well, the question is, what is, um, what is that value? Well, we know that value is going to be uh, the same as what we have here, which is a root 2 over 2 and a root 2 over 2. With uh, what signs? Well, it's going to be negative x and negative y because everything here is negative x, negative y. Then we're going to the last one, which is this little spot here. We know it's going to translate over here. We follow that line and we know that should be root 3 over 2 and 1 over 2. And again, the x is negative and uh, the x are negative. And the y's are also negative. Okay, so use the same rule here for this. These numbers to the left here will translate down here. So I'm going to start with this one. So I know that number, that particular line, if you follow it, would end up here. So I know that's going to be one over two, and over 
that's going to be with 3 over 2 because those are the same values there. But you need to think about the signs here. The signs here uh, will give you uh, a positive x but a negative y. So I know all my y's are going to be negative. Actually, one thing you could do is just go ahead and, you know, just put all the y's, make them a negative. That, that just simplifies your work. That way you don't forget. Um, so I'm going to change my blue one here. I know this guy, when you follow it all the way here, will give you this uh, spot here. So I'm just going to borrow the same number. So as you can see, it's going to be root 2 over 2. It's going to be root 2 over 2. And then obviously, you know, the last one, um, this guy is going to be this spot. And so what are the numbers there? It's root 3 over 2 and then just 1 over 2. And it's helpful that we've already gone ahead and put, you know, the signs there. So at this point, we're good with all the outside answers. Now, let's deal with the angles. So obviously, this is the beginning. So this is always going to be 0 degrees. There are a few things you'd want to know going into this particular uh, solving this stuff out. You want to know this is 0 degrees. This is It's helpful to know that this first one is 30. And then from here, you can begin to develop a lot of things. You also want to know that this place is 45 degrees. So really, that's all you need to remember. That's 0, 30, 45. Now, what you want to understand is that this 30 as it is here, this spot here is going to be 230s, meaning 2 30s. Well, if you look at two thirties, what I mean there is two times thirty is we're going to be what uh, sixty degrees. Okay, so this place is sixty degrees, and then recognize that this spot here is three thirty. So there are three thirties. Well, three times thirty is ninety degrees, and the same thing is going to continue. This spot here is going to be four thirties, which is one twenty degrees. And uh, at this point, you recognize that you're always skipping the middle one when you're doing the 30s, okay? So we're going to skip this middle one because this middle one is really a 45 type. So um, I'm going to ignore that. Then I know that this place, this last one we did was 430s, which is 120. So obviously this place would be 530s, which is 150 degrees. Um, and then this place is going to be um, uh, 630s, which is 180 degrees. And uh, this place is going to be 730s, which is 210. So as you can, what you're doing is, when I say 730s, you're just multiplying 7 times 30. Again, you skip the middle one. And then this place is going to be 830s, which is 240. And then we know that this place is 930s, which is 270. 270 degrees. And then this place is, um, uh, we just did 930. It's going to do 1030s, which is 300. Again, we're going to skip the middle one, and then we know this place is going to be uh, 1130s, which is 330, 330 degrees. And then we know finally this place is also going to be 360, which um, I guess we can write that as well. So that would be uh, 360 degrees. Okay. Now let's go to the, um, let's finish this all up and do the radians. Um, well, actually, we, we can actually, let's do the 45s first. So this is 145, right? Technically, for the 45s, what you can do is go from the middle, go to the axis, then go to the middle, then go to the axis, then go to the middle. So if we do 45, this is 145. Well, technically, a 90 is a 245, meaning 2 times 45 is 90. So we could say 145, 245. Then this place right here will be 345s, meaning if you do 3 times 45, that's going to be 135. Okay, And then this place is... um. 445s, which is the 180, and then this place is going to be 545s, well, which is 225, okay, and then 525s, then this place is 625s, um, and then this place is going to be 725s, which is 315. So we just did all the 45s. Now, how does this translate when it comes to the radians? Well, again, for the radians, you want to at least start with um, pi over 6, yeah? You want to know at least that uh, 30 is pi over 6 and that 45 is pi over 4. Um, so if we did that, let me actually change my color, if we did that here, it means then we can then try to use the same way we found all the degrees, find all the radians. So if I already have 30 at pi over 6, I know 60 is it 2 30s. Is it 60 is made up of 2 30s. Well, pretty much that's going to be 2 I'm going to put that over here. That's 2 30s, which is 2 over pi over 6. Well, if you reduce that, you're going to get pi over 3. So that's why this place is pi over 3. 
Okay. Now, if you do the same thing here, now you probably already know 90 anyway, but remember we said 90 is three, three of three, three uh, thirties, which is three times pi over six. If you did three times pi over six, what you recognize is this three goes in there. That's two. That's why a 90 is pi over two. So as a result, that's pi over two. Well, if you follow the same pattern all the way, you recognize that this place is three thirties. By the time you get to 120, it is four thirties, which is four times what pi over six is, which is going to give us two, two pi over three. And then uh, again, we skip the middle one and this place is five thirties, which is five times pi over six. Again, five times what 30 is, which is a pi over six. So as you can see, that's pretty easy. It lets you get there quickly. Um, well, you want to know this is pi, which is um, 6 thirties, which is why that's pi. Um, this place is going to be 7 thirties, which is 7 pi over 6. We're going to skip the middle again. This place is 8 thirties, which is 8 times pi over 6, which ends up being pi over 4 pi over 3. And then this place is, um, uh, so we just did um, 8 thirties. Um, this place is going to be um, your 9 thirties. So uh, 9 thirties, which is three pi over two. And then uh, over here you have your 10 thirties. So it's 10 times pi over six, which is going to be, if you reduce that is five pi over three. Again, we skip the middle one. And then this place is going to be 11 thirties, which is 11, we think about that, it's 11 thirties. So that's why it's going to be 11 pi over six. And then this place obviously is uh, 12 thirties, which is going to be two pi. Okay. Now at this point, we're pretty much done. We just need to finish out the uh, pi over uh, pi over four. So remember, 45 is pi over four. 90 is uh, two, uh, 45s, two, two 45s. So by the time we get to this middle one, so this is 145, this is 245. This place is 345. So if you think about that, that's three of what a 45 is in radian, which is pi over four. So that's why that's three pi over four. So this is three. 345s, right? Then this place is 445s. This place has to be 545s, and we know 45 is pi over 4. And then this place is 545s, this will be 645s. Then this place should be what? 745s, that's 7 pi over 4. And this place will be um, um, 845s, which again is uh, your 2 pi, which is what we have already there. So based on uh, on that, that's pretty much how you fill out a unit circle. Obviously, it took me more than five minutes to do it, but that's pretty much because I was explaining it. But, you know, if you're doing this in, in school as a test, uh, you should be able to finish this in under five minutes by using the techniques I just shown, showed you. And obviously, as you practice it more, your memory would actually be able to remember and pick up a lot of things as well. Thank you.